Hello my presumptuous porcupines, it's your boy Zionic Blader and today we will be comparing Ventus Howlcor Ultra from Bakugan Battle Planet with its Season 2 counterpart from Armored Alliance. We will compare them in four categories, their cores, their base stats and effects, their evolutions, and their use in decks. I will say an abbreviation of the season they're a part of when talking about them. So Ventus Halcor Ultra from Battle Planet will be Ventus Halcor Ultra BP, and Ventus Halcor Ultra from Armored Alliance will be Ventus Halcor Ultra AA. But enough talk, let's figure out which Ventus Halcor Ultra is the best. Category 1 The Cores Ventus Halcor Ultra BP has a Shield Core and Fire Fist Core. Shield cores are good for gear reduction as backup cores, and fire fists are the best damage boosting cores in the game, so overall this is a good core lineup. Ventus Howl Core Ultra AA comes with two green fists. While there was a time when green fists were good, seeing two green fists these days is pretty much a death sentence for a Bakugan. Therefore, Ventus Howl Core Ultra BP wins Category 1. Category 2, Base Stats and Effects. Ventus Halcor Ultra BP is pretty mediocre all around with a 502 base stat line. Its cores don't really help it that much with it reaching 900 B power on a plus 400 shield core and 8 damage on a plus 6 damage fire fist. Its stats leave more to be desired. Ventus Halcor Ultra AA is in the same boat, a vanilla with mediocre stats all around. With a 604 stat line, its green fists are definitely not going to help it reach any good numbers. Both of these Bakugan in base form are not very good, but Ventus Hardcore Ultra BP's core lineup gives it an edge against its Armored Alliance successor, letting it win Category 2. Category 3, Evolutions. Ventus Hardcore Ultra BP has a 6 cost Titan Evolution. If you have been following this series, you know that for me, when a Bakugan's evolution is a 6 cost, it really needs to be worth it. However, for a vanilla with stats that aren't really that impressive, it being a stat line of 1208, at least it's not super disappointing. Ventus Halcor Ultra AA also has a 6 cost Titan evolution. It comes with a stat line of 1007 and has an effect of destroying a Bakugir when it evolves. Honestly, its effect isn't really that good since the better Bakugirs give off their effects when being played, so destroying them isn't really going to do much aside from reducing the buffs they give, and to spend 6 energy for that isn't really worth it. Both of these evolutions are not very good, however if I'm going to be spending 6 energy I would rather get the Bakugan with better stats, so Ventus Halakul Ultra BP takes Category 3. Category 4, Use in Dex. Now, honestly, neither of these Bakugan are really worth using, so I can just tie them for this category if I really wanted to, but I never want to tie. Ventus Halcor Ultra AA is definitely not worth it. However, Ventus Halcor Ultra BP came out in Wave 1 when it was the Wild West of the Bakugan reboot. There really wasn't much to use back then, so I guess if you limit yourself to the format of Battle Brawlers Wave 1 only, you can use this guy in a mono Ventus deck, maybe? I am really reaching here, please give me a break. But anyways, category 4 goes to Ventus Halcor Ultra BP. OG a sweep, but honestly, it was a really underwhelming sweep. But alas, Ventus Halcor Ultra BP is a better Bakugan. And I'm glad this video is over because Halcor is difficult to pronounce, and saying it Halcor over and over again is really tough. Halcor, 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 Halcor. Halcor. But anyways, do you agree or disagree with my choice? Let me know in the comments section below. Also hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.